Hi guys, uh, today is April 7th, uh, 2020, and uh, futures are jumping higher on uh, reports that uh, the disease is uh, plateauing. Uh, the reports coming from uh, governors of uh, New York and Louisiana. So people are very excited about that, and uh, it's uh, pretty much a fear of missing out uh, on the stock market right now. So uh, on the top of uh, huge gains uh, yesterday, like the uh, market was up 7.5%, uh, it looks like we're going even higher than that. So let's jump to S&P 500, stock symbol SPY. And uh, I am still in the group of uh, people who believes uh, who believe that uh, we're still going to retest uh, some of the lows. Maybe not all the way down, but some of the lows will re be retested. Because usually after the initial panic phase, uh, which was set... Uh, uh, back in March, uh, there's a, a big rally, go, uh, relief rally uh, happens. And then a month uh, from the initial uh, setting of the lows, uh, usually we retest some of the lows uh, that was set previously. So who knows? I could be right, I could be wrong, but uh, that's my view on this. And uh, I will be very careful in uh, at purchasing at these levels because uh, if you think about it, only Friday, last Friday, you could purchase, you can buy stocks uh, like 10% uh, lower than it is right now. So I will be very tempered uh, at buying uh, today. Uh, so let's jump to corporate news, uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla had some news uh, that uh, they're planning to uh, release a new Model 3 in China and uh, uh, there is a, a they're provided a update on the pr production of uh, ventilators so Tesla shares are jumping with the rest of the market and uh, in general I like Tesla and uh, I told you that under $500 is a really strong buy uh, $541 I mean it's still pretty good and I think it still will uh, go higher but uh, uh, it's a little bit too uh, tight for me to buy at this level so for Tesla but in general I like Tesla a lot and I own shares and I think it's a very good company that will go higher eventually so NEO uh, provided upgrade uh, update uh, on their uh, deliveries numbers and uh, they actually saw 116 percent increase in their delivery numbers in March compared to February and uh, also they said they will start delivery of their ES8 sedan seater it's not a sedan it's a SUV seater uh, an upgraded SUV seater uh, this month uh, which is April so uh, pretty good numbers from NEO and uh, I think uh, under three dollars uh, for NEO it's a pretty good buy in general I own shares and I think uh, uh, under three dollars like I said uh, a lot of risk is priced in uh, in NEO at this point so I will be interested in NEO at this point so another company that uh, I like is uh, Sprouse Farmer Markets uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, company that provides uh, organic food uh, healthy choices uh, you know the the stuff that uh, people i think will uh, buy more in the future um, after this the disease is over after this outbreak of this, this disease is over so i actually like as uh, asfm i actually like this company and um, they were upgraded uh, i think yesterday I reiterated the buy and raise price target by um, deutsche bank uh, to 28 and i think it's uh, i mean this also pays a dividend and uh, it's uh, pretty low compared considering the fact that uh, um, they're pretty much open at this point <laughs> compared to everything else that's closed and uh, this is a good co good company to own in this environment okay so AT&T stock symbol T they provided the guidance uh, they provided the financial update today and they cited a strong cash position and uh, they said that they have uh, 12 billion on hand and they also exercised 5 billion uh, from the uh, revolving uh, facility, uh, they they got five five more billion to shore up their uh, balance sheet, and they also have uh, fifteen more billion untouched. So they also said that uh, they will continue to pay dividend, and uh, as you know, maybe that the T has a pretty high dividend compared to other stocks. Uh, I think they pay uh, over five percent uh, dividend. So T is a very good. Uh, a company to own in this environment, I think, and uh, I would be a buyer of tea. 
Okay. BK, Bank of New York Mellon. Okay, so that, that company was upgraded to inline from underperformed by, by Evercore today. And in general, I like uh, Bank of New York Mellon, but um, I, I like more uh, stocks like BAC, which is Bank of America, and uh, Wells Fargo. Okay, so under uh, $30, uh, Wells Fargo is a big buy, uh, and in my opinion, it's a very good buy. And uh, Bank of America, closer to $20, uh, that was a really good buy. But uh, uh, as, you, as I told you that uh, we may have a retest of the lows, so uh, this could come back a little bit um, when the retest happens. That's just my opinion that the retest happens. Nobody knows, of course, but... Uh, but in general, I feel like uh, we're not there yet. Okay. Whole logic, um, um, H O L X, uh, stock symbol. That's a medical technology and diagnostics company, and uh, they pre announced uh, Q2 uh, uh, below street uh, view and. Um, uh, but not that not that much uh, actually and. Uh, they didn't, didn't provide the guidance, um, and uh, Wells Fargo actually upgraded the company uh, to over, uh, overweight, from equal weight, to, and it was the price target of 48. And uh, this company is producing uh, diagnostic kits for COVID-19, and uh, I actually think it's a pretty good buy, uh, stock symbol H-O-L-X. Okay, so Innovia Pharmaceuticals. So Inovia had an up, uh, update. Uh, they received the FDA approval to begin the phase one clinical testing. And uh, as far as I know, they were planning to inject the first patient uh, yesterday, Monday. So we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty excited about Inovia, symbol I-N-O. Moderna also had some news. Uh, they said they will host virtual vaccines day for analysts uh, on April 14th. So. I guess uh, they will provide uh, the update on their uh, phase one uh, testing uh, for their va vaccine. Triple uh, M, okay, 3M company. Okay, 3M company, as you know, they had a dispute with the White House recently uh, over uh, the production of their uh, masks the, because uh, they were selling uh, some of their masks to Latin America and Canada and uh, uh, White House didn't like that, so it uh, looks like they patched up their relationship and uh, they will produce 167 million masks in the, la in the next three months. So WFC, okay, so WFC, which is Wells Fargo, uh, they will reduce uh, their portfolio uh, of loans to remain under $1.95 trillion uh, dollars, uh, uh, on their balance sheet uh, uh, cap. So that's the regulation that was set um, on the banks. Uh, different size banks have different uh, limitations, but uh, I think that's pretty good because it limits uh, how much uh, loans they can uh, provide uh, to public and they don't have to be overexposed to uh, to like uh, mortgages and loans and uh, we don't want to repeat 2008 crisis. So, like I said, the WFC is a good buy under thirty dollars. Uh, KHC, uh, Kraft Heinz. Okay, so Kraft Heinz expects increase in quarterly earnings, and analysts expected uh, a decline in quarterly earnings. So that's a pretty good uh, stock to buy. It's uh, Buffett stock, KHC. I also like actually Beyond Meat. I know they will be pinched by. Uh, closings of uh, restaurants but still uh, the price for Beyond Meat is pretty low so that could be a good uh, pickup for Beyond Meat. So low and uh, Lowe's companies and Home Depot okay so Lowe's was upgraded to buy by Loop Capital but also I like Home Depot and uh, these two are one of the few uh, few uh, few stores that are open, and uh, I think that's a pretty good place to be, in general, in a sell-off. And uh, take two interactive so stock symbol TTWO, oh, uh, and uh, also Active Vision Blizzard ATVI. Both of these companies were upgraded. Uh, the game makers 
I mean, they were initiated overweight by Wells Fargo, and uh, I like uh, gaming companies in general. I think it's a good place to be. There is uh, one call that I don't particularly agree about, um, the Shopify, uh, S-H-O-P. Shopify was downgraded by Raymond James uh, based on expectation uh, uh, based on the expectation there will be uh, near-term uh, headwinds and uh, the fact that uh, Shopify didn't provide the financial guidance uh, actually scares Raymond James a little bit but I actually like Shopify in general I think uh, mid 300s I would be a, a buyer for Shopify I think it's a very good company is a company and a lot of companies will get on their platform uh, to sell some products uh, that they cannot sell right now in uh, physical stores and uh, a lot of company companies and a lot of uh, people re will remain on their platform after this so I actually like Shopify and uh, I think it's a buy Okay, guys, that's it. That's a wrap for the day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. Now I'll see you tomorrow.